Hi guys. Now, for the calculation of Guyen Faust, very simple. It comes over here with a formula. F B, not Facebook, eh? F B over here equals to rho G V. Okay? Now, F B basically stands for your Boolean force. Okay, guys? The B is over here, Boolean. F is for force, lah. So, F B over here is your Boolean force. Okay? Now, this one over here in some books, uh, the symbol is over here slightly different, uh, but I prefer to write it in uh, such. Now, this is over here called rho. Okay, guys? And rho over here stands for the density of liquid. Guys, I repeat, eh? it's the density over here of liquid. Okay? Because you might get confused between density of object and density of liquid. So your rho over here is the density of liquid. Okay? Now your G over here stands for gravity. Okay? And normally the value for gravity is given. If it's not given over here, assume 10 newtons per kilogram. Okay? If it's not given, uh, assume this. Okay? Now your V over here stands for volume okay and this my dear students is the volume of object so you see uh, this is over here the volume of liquid and that one over here v is the volume of object now if you look at the formula one more time fb equals to your buoyant force rho over here some people even call it a sexy p over here so rho is the density of liquid g is gravity and v over here is your volume of object now students my concern is your v okay normally how your v over here is given in exam is volume of object guys i can test you over here using three methods okay which i want you to hear very carefully here yeah? now number one I can give you over here the object okay and I can tell you that the cross sectional area now this part over here is what we call the cross sectional area I can tell you that the cross sectional area for an example is one meter square okay guys and then over here I can tell you that the height of the object okay now given to you height of object let's just see is two meters all right now how do you find the volume for this now the volume for object of this will be v equals to remember cross sectional area times height okay so for this one over here remember your cross sectional area times height and you will get over here in this case the answer is just 2 times 1 and you will get 2 meter uh, cube or the correct pronunciation for it would be 2 cubic meter now so this one over here the formula can be also written as because sometimes uh, you don't have to put V you can even put over here H A okay the V over here can be replaced with H A okay that means you call it rho g h a over here a is basically the cross sectional area and h over here stands for the height okay so this is one way how they can ask you for the volume of object the second way is where they give you the density of the object and then they give you the mass of the object now all of us know the uh, old rule over here density equals to mass over volume so if it's given to you in exam over here density given to you an exam the mass you use this formula and get the volume of object okay so one two the third way how they can give you is they can start for an example by giving you over here the length the width and the height okay and all of us know length times width times height and you will get over here your volume okay so these are the three ways guys uh, how they can over here test you 
for volume because most of the times your rho and your gravity is just easily you can substitute inside only your v over here is a challenge now i'm going to give you uh, one to two questions over here to just teach you on how a question to calculate the buoyant force will be asked in exam okay now just view my next video for that